Hello, and welcome to Squeeze and the Shrimp. I'm the Shrimp. I'm Squeeze. Today, we are doing a review, a gear review, our first gear review. First gear review. First gear review. Um, it's not going to just actually be the gear, but a little bit of the brine process and some of just the whole bit of experience. Um, a little bit of that. We, we didn't quite get the unboxing, so uh, if you were looking for that, um, sorry. Uh, we could we do it in reverse. We, we can. We can put it back. Um, <laughs> If that gives you any hint on what what our opinions are on yeah. it, <laughs> it uh, it comes in a nice black box. Uh, that's that's it there. Oh, um, but okay. it comes in a nice black black box. You should explain what it is instead of just calling it. A oh yeah, um, it is a Rurock 2.0 Atlas motorcycle helmet, and this has been reviewed. It's probably the most reviewed helmet on YouTube. Um, and it, is, it has been a process. So, um, long story short, I tried to, uh, I kind of want to focus on the review, not so much on the company and all yeah. of that stuff. Um, but I tried to buy this helmet when it first came out. Um, it said it was in stock. Um, and then I added it to my cart and I paid the ransom for it. And then... I was told that it was probably going to get here in April. This is in like what February or something like that. Yeah, early um, February. It was a little before Vegas week. So. Yeah, uh, and then they were like, "Oh, it'll be April," and then I'm like, "April? I need a helmet now." Most of the time, when people buy helmets, they need a helmet now. Or like, tell us before I pay you money. Yeah, and then they were like, "Oh yeah, well probably June." Uh, that's different than april yeah so here it is june and here this helmet sits um i have since been uh in that time period i've had two helmets which is com it's that is completely excessive I, yeah. I i understand like my helmet buying has been completely obsessive but and you helped other people buy helmets as well i've so, helped like, other people in buy the helmets. last six months you've probably probably responsible been for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven helmets. So at you, least. You've, you've at least at got least. a good idea on what helmet buying should look like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm a black belt, at least a brown belt in uh, helmet buying. But uh, so I saw this company. Um, their helmet looks fairly unique. Um, they've got a bunch of different colorways and things for it, and. I'm kind of one of those guys where I like to like root for the underdog, like yeah. a lot of people do. Um, I like that they were, you know, trying some maybe a little bit different. And I have a Scorpion helmet, and I have a Showy uh, RF twelve hundred, which is my like daily rider by Bar None. That is my favorite helmet so far. Um, so I've got a lot of time in a few different helmets. And I thought I'd give you guys a review on this one since I watched a lot of reviews on YouTube with the exception of Dan Dan the Fireman. Shout out to Dan Dan the Fireman. All of the YouTube reviews have been like glowing and just like it's the perfect helmet. It's so fantastic. And, you know, I would say 99% of the reviews out there Rurock sent the helmet to those YouTubers to re review at no cost, which, just, just you know, for I'm not clarification. He's doing most of this review because that says XL in there and XL does not fit on my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it'll go on, but it also comes off real easy. Yeah. So it's a lot of squeezes ideas yeah. on here um, just because it, it rumbles around like. And I'll make this okay. caveat here. Um, you know, on our in our normal day jobs, we we sell products as well. Uh, just different products um, and we're really careful to give our actual opinion on things i did not get this for free i am not we're not affiliated with any brands if we ever do a gear review or mention a uh, gear it is our honest opinion that we paid our hard-earned dollars for um and we're just not about you know, being shills. So yeah. that's just Should not that us. Ever change, you will be told beforehand that the thing we are reviewing was sent to us. Yeah, we'll let you know. And, you know, even if somebody sends something to us, you know, like if you're out there 
and you're thinking about sending us something, just, you know, have some faith in your product because it might get rough. Um, um, if you make a good product, we'd be, we'd be good to good. And so getting to the uh, review of this helmet, as I just stated, it's about to get rough. <laughs> um, so I want to start with a couple positive things. One positive thing is I think it's a pretty snappy looking helmet. Um, now, wearing this, reviews on it have been kind of mixed. So as far it's, as styling? As far as styling. So it's a bit, like, in its looks, it's a bit polarizing, which is what I kind of expect from something like this with this kind of dramatic styling. Yeah. Even though this is, like, this is actually probably one of their t more toned-down designs, it just being their rush chrome. Their chin is massive. The chin's massive. If that is massive. what you are looking for, it definitely makes a statement. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, whether or not this is your styling or not, it is different, you know, and there's something to be said for that. I always like stuff that's love or hate because either I love it or I hate it and I don't need to like meander about at all, yeah. you know, so it's, it's, uh, that's kind of cool. So if you love the styling, fantastic. If you hate it, then obviously that's the camp that you're in now. Uh, the other thing that I really, really like, and this has been covered in almost every uh, review, is uh, the Fidlock magnetic strap system is wonderful. Um, and doing a bit of digging around and research, the Fidlock system is on other helmets, just not on a lot of motorcycle helmets. So yeah. I would, if, if Shoei or AGV or um, Arai or HAC is listening, try the Fidlock thing. It's actually pretty cool. They don't quite have the strength, so you're definitely not going to see it at the high end of race bike, uh, race bike helmets. They they do have a higher failure rate, just within the mechanism. Um, but they are so much easier to put on. I don't understand why you still see so many uh, like modular ones where yeah. the the guys put it on a modular helmet. They want to be able to put it on and just go right. Yeah why they're still sitting here doing this when that goes on so easy with gloves caveat yeah. to that though can you just buy one and install it on any i helmet? haven't i haven't found where you can just buy just a fidlock okay um but i mean i'm sure you could buy something with a fidlock and cut it out but then you have to start getting to do you trust your stitching well enough to hold your jury rig in there 100 percent. Hundred percent. so not necessarily saying modify your helmets um yeah. especially Lawyers, don't look at us like we're saying that. Yeah, definitely not saying that. Uh, you could, but we're not necessarily Suggesting recommending that. that. <laughs> um, okay, so the other thing that I like about it is it is ECE uh, rated. Yeah. Um, so it's a safe bucket. Uh, it's at least safe, right? Um, that's cool. Well, as safe as... As safe as e a bucket can be without being Schnell, maybe. Yeah. Um, it is also DOT which is, you know, the bare minimum. You just need to have that in the United States or whatever. Okay, um, now on to the helmet itself a little bit more in depth. Um, the inside, fucking this piece of shit. There you have it. Um, the inside of this is cheap. That's the only way to say it. It's cheap. The material feels cheap. The plastic that the liner buckles into it unsnapped right now it just unsnapped just from me handling it i i I've, you've seen i've not done anything so um and look at if you i'm going to show the shrimp here look at the button that yeah, yeah. That, that snaps into yeah and like on a show you snap it in and it snaps in yeah right you might have heard that snap yeah but listen to this Okay. There's like I know weird, exactly what's there's going like on weird, here and I can't even see it. There's weird play and it keeps popping out. You just can't you can't get it right. That's not the same for the other side. The other side is not like that. So consistency is not that great. There's a little tab that's meant to tuck underneath here. Right here, see mm -hmm. that tab? That just pops pops out just every time. Just, just every time you Just every time yeah. every time you pull your helmet off or put it on, that's going to pop out. Um, so that's not great. Um, it also sits really weird on my head. Um, I don't know if you can feel. Granted, you did buy 
a helmet without putting it on your head. I did buy a helmet without putting it on my head. And but because you can't buy this in stores. Yeah. So, so if you've seen our that. our um, any of our videos on getting going on motorcycling, we always suggest go to a store, put a bucket on your head, walk around with it for a little bit so you can see if there's any yeah. of those hot spots. Now, you I can't think do that with this. I think they did this for air channel reasons, but in the forehead area, it's like kind of cut out on either side and you can kind of feel the forehead area. Mm -hmm. You'll you'll feel what I'm talking about. Okay, you guys Yeah, yeah. Right? So there's almost like there's two V's right here. Yeah. Like that. that are empty, which I get it for airflow reasons. The reasons why I don't like it, and that's not how it is on the showy, is we're in Vegas and we ride in the hot. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it has gotten above, what what did we hit? 110? Yeah, not too already. long ago. And, and we, we hit just 110 got already. into June? Yeah. yeah. It's 110 and June, and we're still riding. So, uh, you know, we're going to ride in the hot. Now, that might sound great that there's, like, airflow there, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't stop the sweat from dripping into my eyes. Yeah. So I'd rather have a moist forehead mm -hmm. than have sweat burning my eyeballs out. Yeah, and you can see where those vents are going. It The other thing that that's going to do is because the liner doesn't have any padding right here, it's going to make here and here naturally hot spots. Right. Um, so even if the foam isn't doing that hot spot, your liner is making hot spots in and of itself. Yeah. So when I put my Scorpion on and when I put my uh, Showy on, it feels like it's hugging my head in a really nice and comfortable way and evenly. This doesn't feel like it's like even on my head. It's very bizarre. It's a very bizarre fit. Now, that being said, there might be people out there who love that. I'm just not one of them. So take that with a grain of salt. Um these vents here at the side are strictly for show. Which just strictly for show. Up. Now, apparently on the 1.0, those were open, but they created a lot of wind noise. I can see why. The vent is literally where your ear canal is. <laughs> yeah. So, so. so they closed those. However, by closing them, it does one of my biggest pet peeves in the world. And this is from the car world, is I cannot stand decorative fake hood scoops and vents i cannot fucking stand them i'm okay for I some of the fucking, lines i can't stand them but when when you make it like here's a big here's a big, big hood square, scoop yeah. full full of plastic yeah like, and it's just black in there and you're like is that just just because you're not revving in the the air, air yeah it has no 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 i kind of um, agree the other one is this top vent that's decorative as well and then there's a back vent and this back vent here which i can't tell if that's decorative or not um and then the mouth vent which you open and close from the inside that's exactly how my hjc is yeah on one of the two mouth vents yeah this so, is but this is the only vent that you can close and open is the mouth vent that which is i feel is which i feel is a little bit silly especially yeah. if you're going to ride in the rain um <clears throat> that's a lot of vents to have it's a lot of head. it's a lot of yeah a lot of vents for one vent that you can open and close and man where else do i go the the chin this chin uh skirt is really short so in comparison i'm going to just show you guys Here, i got it so so here's my showy and there's that and it might not look like a huge difference. Um, it actually looks like a huge difference. It looks like a huge difference. So and not only you can does see it look that. like a huge difference, but the showy, you can see it actually wraps quite a bit farther down the helmet. This is a little bit square. So yeah. it's not going to hold true down where it, it's actually sitting here yeah. nearly as much as the showy is. Now, apparently... Granted, we are showing a showy against it, so like... What's the what's the delta on price between those two? Oh wait, just wait. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so there's that. Um, I know uh, some people complained about the the button being a hole and a and a and a metal button. I'm not really concerned with that as long as it doesn't fail and it works. It actually works pretty good. Uh, the the visor itself works pretty decent. I have no complaints about how the visor functions. It does at least have pin locks on it's, it. It's got pin locks on it, so I'm happy with that. Um, 
but there's one problem. So between the chin skirt and I looked, they'll sell you a longer chin skirt for extra. Um, I, if, if you knew you needed a longer chin skirt, man, just send them out. Um, so there's that that I don't really agree with, but whatever. Now, all that venting that you can't close, this chin skirt mm -hmm. creates a lot of wind noise. It does. It creates a lot of wind noise. And the, the real issue here is I and I can't imagine what 1.0 was with the these vents open yeah. and like people actually complaining about wind noise this creates a, a lot of wind noise a lot a lot compared to my showy and a lot a lot compared to my scorpion, scorpion. now the real uh, uh the real thing that drove me nuts about this was a the fit is weird and then also when i would look right and left it whistles just like it whistles You, and you're, you never turn your head to check blind spots. Yeah. Motorcycles have 100% vision. You don't even need mirrors. Yeah. Yeah, no. Um, that would be annoying. Uh, the, to be uh, fair, though, at least as far as the, the noise, just like wind noise, my HJC is, has a ton of vents. I keep them almost all the time open because Vegas. Yeah. And it makes a ton of noise. Yeah. Any light, you know, airy bucket is going to have more noise. Sure. But at the same time, I have a feeling a lot more noise of that is being made because these grills that are completely no. decorative up here and yeah. the ones in front of those are actually making more of the noise. I, yeah, I have a feeling that these side scoops, too, that are just now collecting pockets of air. Yeah. It's just not. It's just rough here for yeah. the entire time. The, the other thing is when you want to take this uh, visor off, um, you undo this piece, which don't lose that. Right. And then you can take it off, which is like, OK, it's not quite as slick as like showy or HJC like or, Sco or Scorpion. Is really solid. I wouldn't have a problem with this, except for. You then have to Wait, you remove have to take that off. Yeah, you have to then remove this plastic piece. So you have two things you can lose on the side of the road Four. Four, because yeah. the other side, side. Yeah. right? So four and so your visor is only this. Why they just didn't mount this onto every visor so you didn't have to worry about that i don't know that's just really penny pinching in my opinion because that is a pain i mean it's not a huge pain but just compared to like other you know buckets yeah. of that similar range and then there you go you have it on and then also also i I, you know, to be honest, I had high hopes for this. Mm -hmm. I think no, it when looks. When you first came in talking about it, you were super jazzed. Yeah, because like all the reviews were so good. I think it looks slick. I like that it looks different. I mean, it's a little bit on the like loud, obnoxious side, but like, hey, sometimes you feel like a nut, you know? Yeah. Like, why not? Um... I don't dislike the finish from about 10 feet away. But yeah. As I hold this in my hand, it really does feel like whoever did the finish on this just took a paintbrush and went mm -hmm, after they painted it once. And like it feels really handmade, which is kind of cool, but it there's definitely a squiggle right here in the the finish and I'm not sure why. It, it's not like <laughs> yeah, it's not like you know meticulous is yeah. the word. It's not meticulous. Um, but is this like a, a brushed silver? Is that kind of what they're selling around? I it's guess like, so. They call it mercury. Um okay. I don't have an issue with the finish at all. I don't have an issue with the way it looks. I just have an issue that it fits squirrely and the liner feels like cheap shit garbage. I mean, it feels like, t to the touch, it feels like cheap shit garbage. I've had worse liners. That was in secondhand dirt bike helmets that were cheap dirt bike helmets for sure so yeah. that is it, it that's the how liner, far you have to go yeah the liner does feel but i mean if you feel your hjc which how much was your hjc i think we were looking just shy of five like just barely under. yeah and if you feel it inside of the scorpion that i got which was under four yeah and that's if you feel the was yeah if yeah. you feel like the liner in my showy it's got that lovely like 
It's so nice. Yeah. yeah, it's so nice. And it wicks it away and isn't itchy. Like, this is kind of scratchy. Yeah. Um, I mean, go ahead. I know it's too big, okay. but if you want to throw it on. I can get so it. here here you go. First time throwing this bucket on. It is too big, but just to feel the material. I mean. And I'm sure you can feel, too, like where it sits. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm just trying to slam it into places so I can kind of get. Yeah, no, I can definitely see where you're getting a hot spot, and that is just the liner. Yeah. Um, the more I, I, I look at that, like. I can feel it here, and I can feel it right here, and then, like, right there on my head, there's definitely, like, the weight where it's sitting is just in the center of my forehead. Yeah. Um, as far as, like, here, the things that are touching my face when I have the helmet on properly don't feel terribly itchy, but every time I try and reach for something, this mesh, especially, like, up here, this mesh that you yeah. can see right there, it that it's a it's like a wee bit scritchy yeah it's not like a that smooth mesh yeah um it, it oh no and it, and it is like i move over here and everything else crinkles um yeah it's it is the liner is oddly crinkly like there's like yeah. crinkly there's like crinkly sounds that can happen yeah. in there it's really bizarre man um so anyway, I'm not a big fan of this liner. I think it's fucking garbage. And so did uh, Dan Dan the Fireman. Also, like, just in terms of, like, like the, I mean, look at that. Yeah. Look at no, this. It's just, it's just, it, he's pulling the linings out, and they're just sliding around. They just slide, the chin skirt just, just like, slides, just slides around effortlessly, um, slide it around. As far as pulling out. It's not bad for getting your emergency straps out if you did get in an accident. Well, that's because it's really easy to but pop all the liner that's, out. That's, that's a problem. It's really cause... hard to keep them there as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. No, I can see exactly what you're talking about with all that coming apart. Um, we didn't talk about the uh, Bluetooth sound system that is not a communicator that you can get as well. Yeah, which so... Either, either do communications or I mean this is just we're just tra trading the same I know I know we're just trading treading the same water though man yeah um so the other thing it's got is it's got this slot back here for their proprietary Bluetooth thing which is not a comm system it's it just hooks up to your phone and I guess you could just party call your buddies or something. Yeah. Just, but, just do a local Discord and then hope you never run out of cell service. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, if it just also, and just fit and finish, if you just look, it's not like, it's not great. And it, it's not even. Um, the other thing I'll say, too, is that this nose piece, it, it like, stylistically looks good. But it is a little bit annoying because it's a little bit. a little in your way. It's a little bit in your field of vision, which I'm, I'm like, I could have just done without. Um, so I feel like they made a lot of design choices based on styling, which I'm not necessarily like getting down on them about it, but I think they kind of went a little over the line with sacrifice, um, on that, especially when it comes to the wind noise, the whistling is terrible. Should have put some more money into that liner, man. Uh, because here's the real shocker. This bucket on their website in this finish is five hundred and seventy five dollars that's before you buy a pin lock insert that's before you buy like a second smoked my uh, visor mine that was slightly cheaper came with pin lock yeah and yeah. and a uh two visors so i had clear and a uh heavy dark yeah for a mere like fifteen dollars more you can get a showy rf 1200 that just blows this out of the water yeah. in terms of like comfort it's snow rated like it's i'm not gonna go like yeah i want to see a company that's co that's coming onto the market and do something cool um and i want to like okay i am a little bit paying for for some cool aesthetics if i like the way it looks for sure um but unless you can make something that feels as good as the other things that are in your price bracket yeah um 
because for 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 pretty much 600 bucks and that's for this finish like some of the other finishes are are like 475 okay. 550 maybe it's because um, this one was hand brushed i that may be the case right but still even even if we go f- for 475 you know not much more and you've got a showy the scorpion that's below 400 dollars, which is their carbon I don't know what it was, the carbon uh, uh, scorpion. I, I can't remember. It's what, 1250 now or something it, like that? It's over a thousand. I mean, if you just, like, it's arms. their carbon bucket. It's yeah. like one of their upper tier. Um, but that blows this out of the water. So, where does it leave this? Where does this fit in? I mean, really, if you're willing to make huge sacrifices to wear a helmet that looks cool, that's really where this lives. Yeah. You know? And I feel like they're also kind of making their bread and butter because we gave free helmets to YouTubers who don't, I don't know, don't know how to review helmets, don't know helmets. They just always had super shitty helmets uh, that are somehow shittier than this one. You haven't had too many shitty, shitty helmets. And then that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If you only had like, really shitty helmets on, maybe this isn't on, so bad on the, no i'm saying on on its side how yeah. many bad helmets have you have you put on your head none you know Th- there's my point so this is the worst helmet you've ever this worn this is the worst helmet i've ever worn but I, at the same I, time you haven't would, put on thirteen thousand helmets so you're for not. sure i'll put it this way too I planned on wearing this helmet for a week straight. That is what I told yeah. him. Yeah, he was, was going to wear, wear it all it. week, and we were going to do this next Monday. Yeah, I wore it one time, and I was like, I never want to put that fucking thing on my head again. That's how that's how bad it was. Like, and I can suffer through quite a bit. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I've I I like roughing it. You know, yeah. I I can sleep on dirt. I don't care. But that is so god awful to wear and so annoying. And you were only 15 minutes. 15 minutes is all your drive. Your yeah, drive I, have a, I have a 14 minute commute and I, I, it couldn't be shorter when you're wearing that, you know, I mean, you're, 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 I was riding that home and I was just like, I just, I just want to take this off. I just want to take this off. This is why people don't want to wear helmets. This is why people don't want to wear helmets. Yeah. This is why they don't want helmets in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in Missouri, please wear a helmet. Um, aside from that, though, uh, if you have one of these and you really like it, um, tell us about it because I want to know why you like it. Yeah. I can't fit into it, and I'm not going to throw 500 at at a helmet that I I don't really need right now anyways. Um, you seem to be collecting them. so. Uh, but... I mean, I was just on the search for, you know, really what it was was I wanted to buy – the helmet that's ranked above the RF 1200. Yeah. But they went to like the built in Senna comms and I want to put the comms I want in them. I yeah. wanted Cardo comm system. Um, and I couldn't, you know, I'm not going to buy something with a proprietary built in comm and then throw another comm on top of where that comm yeah. is built to go. That, that does seem a little, a little, and honestly for right now, I really, not speaking this helmet, if we just go to, to a helmet talk, I'd much rather have like our smart helmets that are starting to come out. Yeah. Have that be something I can plug into any helmet. Yeah. If you're making if you're making a helmet, I don't care about the bucket. You make it so I can put a battery pack on the back and I have a heads up display and all that shit, I'll pay you the thousand bucks and I'll pay Ariel the thousand bucks and then I'll have a three thousand dollar bucket. Yeah, ma- on my make head the make the quit trying to bundle that shit together. Because you have to be as good as the the top five brands. Yeah, you have to be as to good get... as Showy and Arai and then also be really good at making comm systems. Yeah. Just leave it out. Leave it out. That's our personal opinion on, on comms. Um, so... let, me, let me pick my comm system. Let me pick my helmet separate. Don't make either of those choices for riders. Let them do their thing. I'm sure there are people who are really happy with that Senna helmet. but. Oh, yeah. That you lost a sale because I wanted to, you know, you use a cardo, go. and so I kind of just felt like I couldn't buy the helmet I wanted, you know. So I w- I just kind of have been on a journey of like find the pinnacle helmet, you know. And then there's a there's an awry that I'm planning on buying too. You'll get a review if if it fits your head. If it fits my head, um, but if and I'm sure, it does. I'm sure it does. No, no, no. It's AGV. 
AGV fits weird. Okay. Yeah, AGV fits weird. It rides pretty good. Um, but this helmet, to me, is just a gross waste of money. It's way too overpriced. If this helmet was two ninety nine, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have an issue. I'd be like, okay, it's a two hundred ninety nine dollar helmet. I'll never fucking buy it. But you know, if you got two hundred ninety nine bucks and you like the way this looks, yeah, it's probably a pretty yeah. decent deal. You know, or if it was, uh, you know, two fifty or one ninety nine. But I wouldn't. I'm what I'm saying is I would not pay over three hundred dollars for this. The value is not there. The value is not there, especially with like. If you're going to throw in, you're going to throw through the trouble of throwing this in as a feature and it not be a real comm system. Yeah. Dude. What? Go away with that. Um, so that's pretty much the my review. I guess if we did a 1 to 10 system, it would be, I would give it an overall 4. Okay. You know, still and safe. It's not, you know, a leather puckle helm. It, it, it will yeah. protect you ish in a crash. Yeah. It's probably not the worst thing you, out you there. I really like the strap. I really like the strap. Um, I, I dig the styling. Um, but the value just isn't there. And there's enough like little nitpicky things like fit, the way the material Your feels. Your cons is list is cheap. Large, is, 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 larger yeah. than your pro list and if you're if there. you're gonna have a, a liner and i know like i said you know dan dan the fireman said you know went into the liner being cheap and i completely agree with him if you want to go i suggest you go watch his channel he's a great youtuber i like his content um and i like you know that he gave an honest review so you know you got a fan here mr dan dan the fireman um you just like also saying his name <laughs> who does i who mean does? but bad. yeah so i you know it's just hard to justify 500 bucks for a, a a bucket or more yeah when the liner is that cheap yeah you know it's a shame because i feel like they had a lot of potential and maybe in five years they'll get it together and make some actual quality helmets. um because yeah if, if they can figure out a way to get side scoops so your your head's a little bit cooler without it sounding like you're like yeah. a one tunnel. That'd be cool. But I, I there's, also... There's magic that would happen in order to make that work. Yeah, I also plan on never wearing this again. I'm going to do my best. Like, if something happens to my showy, I will buy another showy. You um, already have a scorpion, dude. I know, but I'm just saying. If something happened to my showy, in case you want to know my review on the RF-1200, it's fantastic. Um, you know... I, I, but I would buy another, I would go out of my way to buy another helmet before having to put this on. Okay. Um, nor would I hand this to somebody to wear on the back of my bike because I wouldn't want to inflict it upon them. Um, and, and you have a scorpion and I, yeah, <laughs> and I have a scorpion, but also, uh, if you want to review this helmet and you have a large noggin, such as me, an extra, an extra large, large in size. Extra large. Write us in the comments below. I might just be willing to send this to you to review. Um, I actually had a fella in mind uh, out there in Florida. There's a YouTuber by the name of Shade Tree Surgeon, and I'm I'm calling him out for two reasons. One, he has not reviewed this yet. Cool. Right. And two, it looks like he's got a big head. That might fit this hey, helmet. Hey, 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 No throwing shade at people with big heads. Uh, I've, I've got a large cranium. It looks like uh, Shade Tree might have a large cranium. And uh, if you are if you find this video, uh, Mr. Shade Tree Surgeon, I am willing to ship this to Florida so that you can review it also. Are we going to start the brotherhood of the traveling bucket yeah why not you know and hey you can send this to <laughs> to somebody else you know uh i'll i'll even uh, we'll even sign it on the back or throw a sticker on here yeah, and you throw your sticker on idea. it yeah i like that you throw your sticker on it you review the helmet you pass it on to the next fella so reach out to me uh mr shade tree or whoever else wears an extra large and uh, gets to us first and we'll send you this helmet and you can review it because I never want to wear it again. You'll be doing me a favor. <laughs> well, 
throw that down in the comments while you're there. If you haven't already hit that subscription um, button, hit that. Ring the bell so that you'll get all of the notifications when you put more content out. Visit us on social media as well. Squish.moto. Covering up this helmet. <laughs> Squish.moto <laughs> at Instagram. Squish.moto on Facebook. Our own website, squishmoto.com, where you can buy trinkets and baubles and whatnots. Um, uh, other than that, uh, have yourself a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Peace. You get busy, me! Go get busy, me! <laughs>